And this is a poem about the time when the country didn't have manners. This royal throne of kings, this sceptred isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars. This other Eden, demi-paradise, blah, blah, blah. This fortress built by nature for herself. This is Shakespeare, by the way. This precious stone, he's talking about England, set in the silver sea, which serves it in the office wall of a moat, defended to a house against the envy of less happier lands, this blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this England. Today we might say that Billy Shakespeare was talking out of his Warwickshire ass, <laughs> or at least he meant these lines to be little more than farce or comedy or parody, yes, for these nostalgic bardic verses mean sweet diddly squat to me. When faced with the present day news today, just after the general election, of England's septic isle decay, what happened was strange. An awful and nightmarish story when England's working class went Tory. <laughs> Picture it a nightmarish sight with homeless, helpless lives in plight as unemployment figures soar with bedless children on the floor. A message of hope shined for me and you, said for the many, not the few, do you remember that? But no one <laughs> saw the hidden joke because we're all a bit too woke. <laughs> of Labour voters turning blue. You'd be forgiven, I understand, if you thought we were in Wonderland, but you won't find Alice in this story when England's working class went Tory. Is it common sense for those bastards, or do they lack it? One too many frosty jacks. What occurred when England slept? Who dealt these guys some dodgy ket? <laughs> Who put their heads on the block when voting in a ballot box? It's a political violence worse than gory when England's working class men. Tory! Stoke, Dudley, Wolverhampton, Greater Manchester and Northampton, Darlington chavs stealing car cab hops and pipe pulling women in working men's clubs. It's a cruel and sickening twist of fate by royalty of council estates. We've got their decent on its roots. Do to give the EU a boot? What do they think is going to happen when Austerity measures fail to slacken that the upper class will let them in? To shine their boots and serve them gin? And they'll grey in the afternoon, served complete with silver spoons. One thing that it was for sure, a complete delusion of grandeur, bereft of social savoir faire, and trust in a twat with shabby hair. <laughs> that isn't even to be asked, I haven't faith. Let's use five years to consolidate a new progressive voter base who don't choose wealth or war or race to raise their basement self-esteem. In short, let's have the space to dream. Thank you.